Both games are important. I would say that both games are important to me, but I would be lying if I said that the games were both equal. See, Final Fantasy VII is more of a nostalgic game for me because it's the teen fantasy romance drama that I experienced when I was in my teens, playing it for the first time when I was 13, 14. But Final Fantasy XVI is the adult political drama that I got the experience of from Final Fantasy Tactics. How it was, how I got exposed to Final Fantasy to begin with, and um, this was for the PlayStation. I was exposed to it in the SNES era, um, but for the PlayStation, the two games that defined that pivotal moment were Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy VII. I was at an electronics boutique, um, those stores, which long closed, when my uncle had bought my cousin a PlayStation. It was a big deal. Those things were quite expensive. And my cousin initially asked for Final Fantasy VII because that was the game that we'd all heard of. The store was out of those copies, but they did have Final Fantasy Tactics. And so we we picked that game, not really knowing, I mean, assuming that the games were kind of like all the same, but it was a completely different experience. Final Fantasy Tactics was like our first exposure to a more adult-themed story. And yes, while I did play Final Fantasy VII immediately after it, and I enjoyed both games, Final Fantasy VII, I would say to some degree six, eight, nine, ten, you know, 13, 15, these are games that really appeal more to the teen fantasy romance, drama, you know, type of fans. And there's, I'm not disparaging it at all. It's just a different type of storytelling. Whereas Final Fantasy Tactics, to some degree, I'd say Final Fantasy XII, um, parts of 14 and certainly 16 is appealing more to you if you are into more of the more mature adult themed type of stories. Typically in games like FF7, there's usually the elements of, well, here is the uh, the friendship, here's the journey, here's like the, like the nostalgic friendships that you had growing up, and yes, mixed in with elements of romance and, you know, you're saving the world and such. So it plays out a lot like a teen manga, a teen anime, whereas Final Fantasy Tactics and games like FF16, it gave you a sense that the world at large is much bigger than your childhood. Like as you grew up, you're not dealing with like the teen drama fantasy romance anymore. You're dealing with, you know, the the greater political stage. You're dealing with, well, how does you know, religious and philosophical beliefs affect the way that we live our lives? Like games like FF7, and that's not to disparage it again, they never really dealt with issues like that. And while for nostalgic reasons, again, enjoy the experience of FF7, FF8, FF9, it was really Final Fantasy Tactics that cemented itself as a game that really pushed the envelope as far as its storytelling and its significance to, I guess, that the way that I've learned to live my life growing up from childhood into adulthood. So hands down, hence why, yes, while Final Fantasy VII, I am excited for it. I am super pumped for it. FF16 is by a long shot the more important game for me.